Hello everyone, KV here once again, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Basiria Blind. On the last episode, well, a lot of things happened. It's been, uh, we had a time skip of three years, partially because uh, Velvet's uh, brother got killed. That was not nice by the guy that we thought was nice, but it's actually not nice at all. And we were then sent to prison for three years because we've kind of become like part demon, I guess. That's why her, that, that's why her arms bandaged up like that, I think. And now we're inciting a prison riot because we're trying to escape from prison because someone who was loyal to the guy that killed her brother is no longer loyal to him and she's helping us escape for reasons I don't know. And then we ran to this witch girl. We're going to talk about her right now. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. You must be cautious. Trust no Should we trust you? She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malakim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. <laughs> if she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be dead. Okay, uh, Velvet, uh, if you haven't caught on by this point, Velvet uh, is, is, uh, has, is very, very, very edgelordy. Just wants, just wants everything to be like, ah, and wait, is this? I, w I went this way. I'm dumb. Okay. Let's leave prison. Yeah, we'll go find we'll go find a Magilu or whatever. But was her name? But that I I got the syllables right at the very least. Hello, take cap coin. Take what's ever in here. Avoid ring. Is that something we can equip? Resistance ring. Not an element damage reduced by 4%. Uh, I'd rather keep that just because we have defense on that. I'm not sure what art defense exactly means, but I think it's like defense as far as when you're doing an art, and basically all attacks are arts as far as I'm concerned. So that, that I feel more safer with that on currently. Just to be, just to be safe. Not that I've said the safe like 5 billion times at this point, but whatever. Okay, bye. Oh, and demons are gone, and those guys are down, and... Hi! I'm just gonna meet, like, all the main cast of characters in this prison? More? Oh, hey. This one. He's a demon. Oh, no, he just has... he just has an eye. He just has an eye. It's fine. It's fine. You're not human. <laughs> That's a great conversation you guys just had there. Oh, hello. I'm gonna take that soul. Thank you. Searing edge up your butt. Yeah! And now you're dazed. Woo! I feel the music in this game is going to be a lot more rock-heavy than I'm used to, but then again, like, a lot of Tales games were, it's, haven't been, it's been such a t long time. Riddle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Oh! Storm Howl? That sword was... That's his sword! We found that in the last episode. You found it? Where? Do you have it? Oh! Look, he's so... He's just like... Storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. Oh, what a nice guy! He attacks us and then goes, "Hey, where's my sword?" He's an odd demon. And he's just like, "Oh man, my sword!" Things settle down. We'll miss our window. Hurry. Cause I think I think he's the guy who's gonna join our party later, just like the witch girl. So random. Wait, details? No, that's just whatever. What's sharp? Sharp supers Venti enable snipe charge and battle after guarding for some amount of time. Obtaining certain items grants charge abilities to guard commands. With Sharp Soup Zventi, Snarf Charge maintains the guard for one second, and double chances inflicting stun to other attacks elements with immediately falling attack. So how would I... W would that be an arts, then? Or... How would I set... How would I set that? Strategy? I don't... I don't know. I don't know how you would... How would you set that? Cat style. Oh, hey, I can check. Her hair's fine. No, no, thanks. I don't want to wear. Don't want to wear the prisoner clothes. 
Oh, thank you. I'm good with that. I, I like that you can keep all the costumes that you had so far, though. That's kind of neat. All right. I'm not really sure how that's gonna how the thing that just tried to do tutorial on is gonna work, but uh, we'll we'll figure it out. I'm sure. What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was happy. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed. Yeah, he was happy. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Oh, except for Oh, come on, you're talking about her too. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. So I guess technically they're not, and they're technically all demons. Te technically. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Got some orcs. Alright, so... There we go, yeah. So I just hold guard longer now, and just, just it, it just works. Not sure how, but it, it works in some capacity. So I'm wondering if there's other ways to like build your soul gauge up besides just waiting around. Because that was one thing that was hard to figure out in Tales of Destiny 2. Getting out of here comes first. Well, yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. The number of attacks and quick steps that can be changed to a combo is equal to the number of souls possessed. Attacks performed in a combo chain leave characters less open to attack. In addition, arts receive a bonus based on the number of times a different art type has been performed in the same combo. For example, a hidden art performed after two martial arts will cost 20%- oh, okay. And that's why- okay, that's probably why they had it set up that way, so that you just press one button, and you would keep doing the same art over and over and over again, because that, that was just like a quick and easy way to give you a bonus. Well, that's nice. I want to explore more of the dungeon, though. I want to explore more of the prison. I'm sure Velvet doesn't really care to do that, but I want to look at it. Oh, boy, what happened here? Got the gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. That's fine, it's fine. I want to check out the other side here. I know I know we're not supposed to go this way, but I want to check it out. I'm just curious, okay? So we didn't open this door. I'm a curious person. Okay, well we can't go that way either. We have examined it, and it's said we couldn't go that way. So we did it! We have fully explored the prison, probably. Can we go, like, talk to that guy? Ah, who cares? We'll, we'll probably meet him later. If, like, we could go find uh, the the witch or that guy again and have them join or something, that'd be kind of cool. Let's have him, like, right off the bat. Alright, so, back up the stairs. And there we go. Here's the pathway to the watchtower, I take it. Because that's where we're heading. That's where we're heading. The last episode we established we got to get to the watchtower. Getting away. No, we're getting away. Bye. Hi. I'm gonna kick you a lot. And kick you some more and stun you. And bye-bye. Um, Not quite yet. Soon though. Why? Now. Shish 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 shish. Okay, beating enemies will fill will fill up soul gauge, so. That's why it's, it's important to so focus on one. Alright, thank you for that, Sarah. So that helps. Uh, uh, oh, sure. It was easy for you, maybe. Prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. But she said the prisoners are doomed. Well, we can't go back, because I don't think the door is going to let us at this point. Yeah, we can't. Oh well. They'll be fine. I'm sure they'll be fine. It's it's, it's okay. They're, they're strong people. They can do they can deal with a bunch of jerk guards. Hi, right, treasure chests. What we got? Oh, 320 gold. Not too bad. And of course it's raining. Yay! Do not like water? I guess there's a cliff the down there. Collapsed. 
That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. <gasps> what? Okay, wow, okay, Velvet, that's kind of cool, but also super reckless. I want a demon arm. I mean, it probably comes with a lot of bad repercussions, but it looks cool. And it has very cool, per uh, very cool uh, you uses. Hey, if you could just teleport the whole time. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Okay. Is that... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least she is aware of the fact that it's kind of her fault and Artorius Arthur's fault for everything sucking. Hi, pal. You better be ready. How's it going? I'm here to kick your butts. A Rising Moon is a fun attack. I like using that attack a lot. Shh, <laughs> shh, shh, And bye bye. Come on, really? And we level up. All right, we got Sturdy Belt and Amber Belt. Uh, belts. Uh, oh, okay. It tells you all of them. Powers up the wear against uh, demi humans. Need a Rini. Let's put that on. Wait, no. Belts. There we go. And it has, uh, um, it looks like I'm, I'm leveling these up as I'm wearing them, question mark? So I should keep this on? I mean, it's going to up our attack, it's going to lower our magic, but who, who really cares about that at that point, at this point, as far as I'm concerned? So we'll just go with that. Viewer's Fighter, wait, oh, whoa, 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 what is it? Oh, oh, titles, 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 I'm familiar with these. We need to actually get these from something, though, in order to... I don't know sure what. Okay, I gotta get to gotta get a certain level. Okay, cool. So that that's actually nice. It actually tells you how you're gonna get a lot of uh, the titles right away compared to previous titles games. That's neat. All right, sorry, I, I I'm getting distracted as usual, but it's just it's cool to look at all these different little things and kind of learn more about it as we're going along. So I'm gonna make a save. I should probably start writing over, but I'm just kind of making the saves just in case anything happens to the footage. I have I have the old. I have the old uh, save files. Uh, herbs can increase the uh, character parameters grow in various places around the world. I'm keeping the old saves just in case anything happens in uh, recording. So wait, items. Oh! Yes, I want that. What do we got here? We got gels. Uh, nothing else. Weapons, that's the only thing we have. Uh, belts, armor, rings, shoes, materials. We got a lot of materials. Uh, potencies. Provides the ability for equipment to trigger RAM skill. That improves six basic statistics. So how, how would I use these? Do I, I just have them? I, I just have them, I guess. Valuables, rope. But that's a great place to put rope. Fashion, and we just have all of her stuff from the beginning of the game. Add-on, that's like DLC stuff, and I probably won't be seeing that, so whatever, but that's nice. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. Oh, okay. That, may that actually makes sound sense. Back to grunge dungeon music! Grunge dungeon, grunge dungeon. Sorry, <laughs> this, this this music is is kind of silly in all in all honesty. We're almost there. That's enough. Hello. 
Hi, Kles. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? His his voice actor sounds familiar. Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. But why? I'm confused. Free will. And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding me. Well, not probably not her. Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. All out of subterfuge. And besides. If we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. Okay. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. Okay, that was nice I'm of you. Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is. Then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Lord Arturius himself taught me the ways of purification. Nope, nope, nope. I see what you're doing. No, no casting arts. Bad, bad, bad mages. Yeah, no thanks. Get out of here. And yeah, you're... Uh, hello. Have a searing strike in your face. Right, is, is the other guy dead? The other guy's dead. Thank you, Eris. Yeah, we took out the we took out the problems. Now we can focus on dealing with this guy. No, you're gonna get stunned at least, though, and that's fine by me. I actually really like using that quick step move. That's actually really nice. All right. Hi, I'm just gonna wander over here for a little bit. <laughs> Thank you! Hey man, we could have totally taken you on. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. Wait, what? What does that exactly mean? We took those guys down earlier. That was no they are no problem. Yeah. More of your vaunted reason. It really, like, their, their ideals of what they keep saying sounds a lot like the Jedi. So, I mean, from my point of view, it's the Jedi that are evil. So, wait. So, he expanded one to make it into a demon? Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's go face the scary dragon now. Thanks, dude. It's your fault. It's all your fault, dude. Kles wannabe. Oh, well, that's just... It's like her outfit was designed for that exact cutscene. Take her mask off. No, take her mask off. You know first aid. No 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 about him. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. What? Feeding on my form will grant you strength. The strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour. But we still don't know why the heck you try to save us in the first place. A flame burns in my heart too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Philip. Oh, she kept the comb! This was Lafayette. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. So I think about it, we're kind of like a vampire in, res in all the respects. Okay, well, she did ask. Very desperately asked. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. There we go. We finally get to see her eye. And the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> When you and I 
What? And Arthur were together. Okay. I'm very confused and concerned. Wait, wait a minute. Ours is Celica, or is she just always there, or what? What? I'm confused. I mean, uh, that's kind of the point. That's how, that's how these games are usually laid out, but still. Oh, okay, I don't want to see that again, please. Okay, so that was basically the start of her path of I don't want to do this anymore. Alright, makes sense, and because of that weird bond thingamajiggy. She couldn't really do anything about it, I guess. Oh, we got a ring! Cool! Alright. Um, I am scared? Hey buddy, how's it going? Let's do it! Alright, let's fight the dragon. Battle tutorial! Alright, what we got? The Sorcerer's Ring enables, uh... Obtained from Devouring Series... Oh, okay! Hold up! Hold up! The Sorcerer's Ring is a mainstay in old Tales game. It's been there since Fantasia. It's usually some random thing they find, but... Okay, the Sorcerer's Ring this time literally came from devouring a person. What? Okay! Well, we can use Break Souls now! Press R trigger to perform Break Souls. Whoa! Once I have been unlocked for a character, these powerful arts can be unleashed by holding RT while controlling three or more souls. Such power comes at a cost. The character loses one soul and the target gains one soul. These attacks ignore combo limits and can be used to open combos, allowing for chains that exceed the number of souls collected currently held. Okay. So it's it's like a Hiyogi, but not exactly. It's kind of just this weird, weird system. That's very, very, very interesting. All right, my guys, Let's keep doing it. All right, and I can only do it when it's when she has three, and once it once she uses goes out, then she'll do that. I think I don't know. I mean, let's let's check. Let's check our arts. Artless, break art. We have consuming cloud and phalanx rain. Hold the R trigger with the three or more souls. It costs one soul. Bites on the foe, and if they aren't afflicted by a status effect, seals their strength to enter uh, demon mode. Automatically performed when leaving Therian form after successfully performing a consuming claw attack against a dragon type enemy. Can knock out the foe. Okay, that's cool. That's neat. Also got Swallow Dance, so that's a new one. We, got, we don't have that one yet. Let's see. Swallow Dance. Launch this foe with spinning kick. Uh, booting them back to the ground. So let's let's add that to our repertoire. We'll put it here. Uh, let's put it. There we go. Okay, well, I have to ask just the combo to use it. There we go. Consuming claw. Hi. Did, did I win? I don't know. I'm I'm confused. I, I really gotta figure out how to use that like, combo system better. It's, I'm not using it the best I probably can be. Oh come on, dude! We took down the dragon. But I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Yes, we can ask nicely. Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. Now we're gonna eat the dragon. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike. I am a monster. 
Okay, did you just burn his head off? Okay, no, just let him on fire. Do, wh wh why would you go to him and touch the fire? That makes no sense. Okay. We have the comb, though. Important. Oh, finally some place that might not be oh hey, your guys are back. It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Oh, what a nice guy. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Oh, what a nice dude. She's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. Why are you coming with us? The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. Okay. Well, I do need other people to help run the ship, so I guess you guys are just you're in the party now. Congratulations. Level up. Woohoo! Uh got a lot of stuff. Uh provides the ability for equipment to trigger ram skills, which restore HP. Ooh. If your soul gauge is already full when you're about to defeat an enemy, you can finish your foe off with the brick soul essentially for free, as you will regain the soul that you spent. You will then be able to go on fighting at the same level. Additionally, performing a brick soul with a significant HP restoration can heal you even when inflicted with a status ailment. Okay. Be sure not to waste this opportunity because it could mean the difference between getting continuing fight and getting KO'd. Hold, oh yeah, I already read about that. King's attack will cause the. Yep, yep, okay. Master skills. These skills are always on a piece of equipment. Each piece of equipment has a proficiency value that will increase based upon the grade earned from a battle. Oh, grade does something else besides just what I think it does now. Okay, that's cool. Upon reaching max proficiency, a character will permanently learn that equipment's master skill, enabling the strength of the character by equipping him with a different... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The customization! Holy cow! If a character wears a piece of equipment containing already master skill, the skills... Alright. I want to go on my menu now. <laughs> Where do you stand with the highest bidder? I have a ship. Guess the weather's feeling as crummy that as makes I you do. the highest bidder. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. <laughs> Take what I can get. Do what you can. Oh, be nice to this guy. Leaving without a proper crew? Is well, is is owe you this is, is her trait just like popping up randomly in front of people? <laughs> No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! Why were you in jail in the first place? I mean, the, the guys are demons, I understand, but why, why, why was she in jail? For being too peppy in the serious world, probably. Probably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that. I like her. She's she's funny. I I mean, Velvet is clearly like the the. Uh, but I like that they're basically giving our party of characters that are more up upbeat. <laughs> All right, and then we crash land on Snow Region. We're good at sailing. Oh, hello. Who are you? If we're getting like the full party right away, that's crazy. <gasps> Luffy said... Oh. A Moloch? Ah! Stay back. All right. Well, let's go and talk to these guys. Okay. So first off, um, boop, 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 boop. I want to put Swallow Dance on a quicker thing to do. After throwing those, so let's put Swallow Dance right here. Uh, anything else I can... Equipment... Equipment? Master! Okay, so... Okay, so Master, you got defense plus five. Nice. And got that. So now we can do... We can put this on. To get that. So, like, she still keeps that, right? That's... That's that's, that's a little confusing for me to figure out. So if I put that on, it's gonna... It's gonna up it? But... Well... Hmm... It's... It's really confusing. 
Oh yeah, Void Ring's better anyways. We, master, we haven't mastered that yet. And uh, Furious Fire, have we, have we unlocked any of the titles? No. Not yet. And then anything else we can do? Strategy? Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Hi! I wanna do this. Yeah! Whoa, 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 Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? I didn't know I had that. What? Uh, can, Blue Inferno, automatically perform when leaving Therian form after successfully performing Consuming Claw against Demi-Human type. Oh, okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna learn more more of these as I go on, so let's see. If I do it against you, what will I get? When... Th so now that I get a new one? I did not. Let's find out. Laughing Raven. Yep, there's a new one. Okay, cool. So that's how you learn new skills with that. My word, a demon muncher. You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Hey, be nice. Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You have a weapon. You're wearing one. Yeah. Uh, I can't use this. <laughs> what? Story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You have a weapon. No, I can't use this. No, 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 I can't use this right now. My <laughs> debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. He's a nice guy. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors. No? Don't watch him a party. It's my, my, my adventure of revenge. A map? Was that left by the child? Wow, that's not a lot of continents. Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Kill people! Specifically just one guy. I've actually warmed up a lot to these this skit style. I actually really like it. It's like comic panels essentially. How do you know that? Well, we'll have to figure out next time. You can earn EXP and gold money and uh, duh. Oh come on, we've leveled up like five times already. Maybe not that many times, but still. Oh, okay. You can open the world map, press Y. Thank you for that. And we are now on the Figel Ice Caps. Land of Dance and Light. Team 320 go! Woohoo! And got a Comfrey. Not sure what it is, but we got one! Woohoo! But still, technically they're not in our party yet, but we have them. We have a skit to read, but we'll check that out next time. So! Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Tales of Berseria Blind. It looks like we're finally getting to the meat of the game, or at least kind of like the more of the... the we have done we've done the appetizer and now we're getting into like the second the second more meatier appetizer. So I hope that you have enjoyed this. If you have, please click that like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Tales of Berseria is available on Steam and PS4. So if you want to go give it a pickup, please do so. Otherwise, I hope that you all have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you in the next episode for when we go do some more of this blind nonsense about stuff and go chase the guy the kid that looks like her brother, and we'll We'll have fun. We'll have fun, and I'll try to actually learn how this battle system works properly, because it, I, it super intrigues me. Like, there's a lot of options to it. I just hope that it's not, like, it, if it, it doesn't feel like Abyss, so I'm glad. But it just feels like it's super, it's super open, but almost too open to the fact that I can just keep button mashing. It won't matter, so I don't know. But we'll figure that out as we go along. So, have a wonderfully great day, and ciao.